Hi, my name is Beatrice. I'm the Senior Curator of Fashion here at the Museum of London and I'm super excited to tell you about London's fashion alphabet. Over the next few weeks, my colleagues and I, or Team Fashion as I like to think of us, are going to take out, bring out things from behind the scenes and tell you about them. So there'll be objects spanning all the different time periods and we're going to take the fashion alphabet as our guide. So today, obviously, we're going to start with A, and A stands for Hardy Amos. So most people probably know Hardy Amos because of his work for the Queen. So he made clothes from her, for her all the way through from when she ascended the throne in the early 1950s to when he retired. So he, and he changed, which is really interesting when you look at his work for the Queen, sort of at the beginning it's sort of more stiff and then it sort of goes with, with the um, decades and becomes sort of much more fluid. So he was one of the main couturiers with Norman Hartnell to make clothes for the Queen. I sort of almost feel like I don't need to say anything about it because it's just so absolutely fabulous. Um, but I will say a few words about it. So I've chosen it because of a number of reasons. I, I love the colors of it and I love how the fabric, which is silk, is then picked up in this, which is probably also silk, probably organza, in this sort of, or chiffon, in this sort of lighter fabric on top. I adore how they've dealt with the ostrich feathers. As you can see, all the different single feathers have slightly different colors, sort of picking up the colors of the fabric. I have no idea how that is made. If anyone does, please get in touch. I'd love to know. Um, the other thing I like is when you turn it round. I love that it's sort of open. And this also shows you, it looks like an evening gown, but it's actually trousers. So this was from the early 70s and the last amazing thing about it is what it was made for. It's actually couture garments that so it was made especially for a very good client of Hardy Amos. This, this very good client of Hardy Amos that I mentioned is actually Diana Lady Delamere. This was her name after her fourth marriage. She married four times and always a very wealthy husband. So she had a lot of money to, to spend on clothes. She also had quite a lot of time. She lived in Kenya, so she, would, she and Hardy Amos would negotiate what she was gonna wear. He would send out drawings to her. She would write on them, a bit like the Queen. It worked in a very similar way and would send them back. And then when she came to London, they would have long sort of sessions at Savile Row talking about her outfits. Um, she's quite a notorious woman. She, when she moved to Kenya in 1940, she very quickly on was involved in a murder case and quite a lot of books have been written about that and there's also a feature film called White Mischief. We also have a lot of shoes of Lady Delamere. I don't, can't remember how many, but probably about 10 pairs. And what I love about them, they all have a little bit of sparkle, either just a tiny little bit or, or, or sometimes quite a bit of sparkle. The majority of her shoes are from Rain, which was another company that provided shoes for the royal family and also for, for the, including the Queen. Obviously, I don't know. We weren't told which pair of shoes she wore with what kind of outfit. But I sort of fantasize sometimes about what, what how she would put it, have put things together. And um, I really like to think that she wore these slippers when she was cruising on the Dalmatian coast. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to find out more about our amazing fashion collection, swipe up. There are lots of objects online for you to look at. And please tune in again next time when, of course, we'll be talking about bees.